Mm-hmm. That lady from Australia was plugged. Oh, that was just too bad. Come on, but that is... <laughs> <laughs> that bitch was plugged to be oh. in the Olympics. They plugged her in. Uh-huh. What the hell is you talking about, man? Oh. Yo, what's up? This bruh man from the fifth floor. And you tuned in to Forgotten Kings TV. Let's talk about it, y'all. Over the weekend, Australian B-girl known as Ray Gunn went viral after the world seen her breaking performance at this year's Olympics. Now, for those who may not know, a lot of people are upset that the fact that this girl even made it this far into this year's breaking competition at the Olympics. Because, again, looking at her moves, the ones that she chose to perform at this year's Olympics, everyone is even wondering... How did she even make it this far? Okay, hitting moves like this. I mean, at this point, she seemed to be just making up her own dance moves at this point. Um, Some said, you know, she was being creative with her own style. I mean, come on, man. This is where we are uh, in 2024 where the Olympics, let's be real. They utilize hip hop just like everyone else when it comes to these, you know, uh, big award ceremonies. Listen, hip hop is always in the house, right? You got Snoop Dogg, Flavor Flav. So again, you can't deny the fact that, you know, breaking, right? And the origins of where it come from. Listen, a lot of people are upset at the fact that this woman was able to, you know, perform in this year's competition on behalf of Australia. So bad, Australia is demanding that Ray Gunn come out with a public apology. Okay, like I said, people are already arguing that she somehow manipulated her way into this year's competition, right? This year's breaking competition at this year's Olympics. You know, of course, she came out with a statement yesterday acknowledging the backlash that she's receiving over her performance at this year's Olympics. As you can see on the screen, this is what Ray Gunn had to say. It is such an honor and a privilege to be, you know, one of 16 women from around the world competing in Breaking's debut at the Olympics. I hope that seeing Breaking at the Olympics inspires a whole new generation of breakers. All right, now again, that was Ray Gunn addressing her performance at this year's breaking competition at the Olympics. And according to her, she believes her performance will somehow inspire others to want to compete at the next breaking competition. However, uh, breaking will not be featured at the 2028 Olympics. I know a lot of people are blaming Ray Gunn and her performance for this decision. However, uh, it was announced right back in 2022 that breaking will not be featured at the 2028 Olympics. According to this article, 28 sports have been approved for the 2028 games, and breaking was left off of the list. Okay. However, I'm sure that Australia will be gathering their best B-boy and B-girls to help compete at the next breaking competition because, again, a lot of people are upset at the fact this woman somehow ended up on that stage. People believe she somehow manipulated her way up on that stage because, again, she scored zero points, all right? This is why so many people have taken to social media to give their reactions, right? Call out the whole system that's put in place for the Olympics for allowing something like this to happen. Well, today we have comedian Corey Holcomb. You know how he is. He doesn't hold back. Uh, the other night on the 5150 show, he decided to give his reaction to the Ray Gun controversy because, again, everyone has been talking about it, right? I've been seeing nothing but memes on social media. To me, this Tekken meme is probably the funniest because anyone who played Tekken knows if you if you uh, pick Eddie in, in the game, you know, I, I'm not sure about everybody else, but me, I was just mashing buttons hoping that I hit something. <laughs> and that's how it felt watching uh, this, this girl Ray Gun up there. It looked like she was just... You know what I mean? Doing whatever the hell she wanted to do. Uh, and that right there just bothered a lot of people who who take the craft serious. You get what I mean? So, listen, y'all know how we do, man. Let's check out this reaction from Corey Holcomb. Y'all let me know. What are your thoughts on this Ray Gun controversy? Do you think people are just, you know, going too far with the criticism? Or do you think it's valid uh, after seeing her performance at this year's Olympics? Again, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. And also, do you agree with Corey Holcomb's take on this whole Ray Gun controversy? Again, let me know down in the comment section below. But look, my name is Sensei Rip. This is all I got for y'all today. Till next time. Peace. <laughs> Y'all saw the Olympics? Y'all saw that hip hop shit? <laughs> no, that was this right. was the joke of the of the century. Reason. They let a no bitch Olympics. in the Olympics who ain't even shit. Well, she was from right Australia. Now. She she thought can I, she was. Can, really can I say it me. again? Sure. The sister who played for the Dallas WNBA team said it's politics. Right. This is not the best in the world. Our WNBA. 
players beat our Olympic team. It's not the best in the world going to the Olympics. They can put together squads in the NBA that can beat that mighty squad, even though I give LeBron and Steph and all them guys credit. They got it done, but them ain't that ain't just cause they that ain't the best in the world. That's who plugged. Mm -hmm. That lady from Australia was plugged. That bitch was plugged to be in the Olympics. They plugged her in. Uh -huh. What the hell is you talking about, man? Uh -huh. What the, we I argue people outside. The first rap award was given to who? I thought it was if Vanilla it was Ice. Somebody Fred said it was Will Smith. Smith. So the first hip hop thing they ever gave was. Will Smith. I no. thought it was Vanilla Ice. When they gave out a rap award, yeah. I don't think it was For to somebody black. Award, now right. they got hip hop in the in Olympics and they got a bust down bitch from Australia. Participating, but she up here amazing. off X. Making it look there she Look goes. at this stupid <laughs> bitch. No, she didn't win it. Look she at this stupid win. Bitch. Performance. No, she didn't. Uh, are you serious? Oh, you can't respect badass. none of this. We're badass. You can't respect none of this. Do you see what? this? Is going on. <laughs> this is ridiculous, you didn't see it, man. You didn't watch it? Uh, hey, man, this yeah. is this is in the Olympics no, for hip hop. Win it. it was an Asian girl that won. She was badass, like so yeah. Man, did you see B Street? Wow, <laughs> 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 look at that. I ain't saying what nobody supposed to do nothing to her. Hey, you but everybody supposed to knock on her door in Australia and be in Australia and be like, you stupid. Uh oh, look at How oh, did you oh, find oh. your way here? That's Ace Ventura break. <laughs> there you go. Like, exactly. Man, the, man, That's Jim Carrey. She's like she getting, she like she getting attacked by bees. <laughs> <laughs> that shit that bitch on fire. Oh, you yeah, yeah. oh shit. She didn't care. She just Seattle she still stuck with it, though. That was the best Australia had. Bless her. Hey, man, it's the end of the world, man. They actually want us to fall for this shit, man. That's they want us to fall for this shit, man. Grab that's wild. Oh, no, you see when she walked up to the other girl like, yeah. Hey, man, we need to fly her in, man. Oh, How God. is there no niggas in the breakdance? Hey, man, somebody book her for a show, hey, man, man, so we can. Okay. He was from France. We can book her for a show so we can boo her, man. Yeah. Uh, we, no, she <laughs> yeah, I will fly her. Ah, ah, she ah, won't ah, You spirit to fly to Australia. That shit crazy, Hey, man. man, we need to fly her in just for the joke of it, man. Y'all know the MREC room etiquette? Peace. You now tuned in to MREC TV. Someone wasn't on protocol. There are consequences. Condoms. I didn't even want my man to eat my because I eat meat from Aldi's. The fuck wrong with you? Aldi's, you should eat this. We don't know what the fuck that meat is. No! For real, I heard a nigga get in prison. That's not the, the part about it. The part about it is he had the audacity to ask me why I ain't helping my sister. They ain't no point of both of us get I step up, look him right in his eyes. <laughs> he go to pat me down. Pop, 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 pop. Twenty dollars, homeboy. I'm like, <laughs> uh. no sir. First of all, can I ask y'all a personal question? Is this microphone really necessary? At this Yeah. 
We not y'all with punchline, punchline, punchline. You know how we turn. Give me a second.